Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Inside Co-op Live. Manchester's Co-op Live Arena finally opens after weeks of cancellations and setbacks. The venue is the biggest indoor arena in the UK and cost 365 nanners to build. But its grand opening has been plagued by problems and postponed multiple times. Manchester's beleaguered Co-op Live Arena has finally officially opened its doors after weeks of setbacks, cancellations, and postponements. The venue was initially due to fully open with two Peter K. stand-up shows on 23 and 24 April, but these dates were pushed back when problems emerged at a test event headlined by Ricky Astley. The Co-op Live's new opening night was then due to be 1st of May when U.S. act A Boogie Wit Da Hoodie should have performed. But this was canceled at the last minute as fans queued outside. In the fortnight since, numerous other acts have been forced to postpone or move their co-op live gigs. But the doors have finally opened to fans, with Manchester band Elbow taking to the stage this evening. The show reportedly got underway a little late, with London band The Wave as the support act. The first to take to the stage as the massive arena began to fill with people. Will Elbow you know me? Let's open this venue properly. According to what's on editor for the Manchester Evening News, Jenna Campbell, writing on X. The venue's largest shareholders include Harry Styles' label, Arakeen Records, and City Football Group, a sports holding company that owns the likes of soccer club Manchester City and is 81% owned by Abu Dhabi United Group, 18% by U.S. private equity giant and Endeavor majority shareholder Silver Lake, and 1% by Chinese firms China Media Capital and Citic Capital. The venue boasts bars, food, tidy interiors, and the most important element of all, a grand technical setup balanced with an intimate fan experience.